Yo, 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 this is Mobile Home Matt. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I prepare a mobile home to sell. Now, I just purchased this double wide. It's in a 55 park here in Phoenix, Arizona. Flip the camera around, I'll show you the, the mobile home itself, and this is gonna be the first time I walk through the home. So, just got the keys yesterday and signing the lease with the park today. Now it's time to get this thing ready. Just put it on wide eyes. So this is a double wide, it's in a 55 park. Um, here, just trying to hide my car license plate. So this mobile home, the family, they're moving back to Ohio. Made, made them an offer. Um, they didn't want to go through the hassle of selling it on the open market. I gave them a price. Um, we all agreed to the terms and whatnot. And now it's time to sell this thing. So just one second. This will be the first time I'm walking through the home. How are you guys doing? If you like my videos, please hit the like button, subscribe button. I'm really trying to grow this channel. Uh, all I do is buy and sell mobile homes here in Phoenix, Arizona. So if you want to see more mobile home content, hit the like button, subscribe button. That's the last, last time I'm going to ask anything. So first thing I'm seeing, they left us some furniture. Okay, so step one of selling a mobile home in a park, what I do as an investor. First step's gonna be cleaning up the outside. <coughs> so, <coughs> as far as the outside, it didn't look like it was in terrible condition. The park, once I sign the lease, they're gonna give me a list of repairs that I have to do in order to bring the home up <coughs> to community standards and whatnot. Uh, the home itself, what I'll probably have to do is I'll have to clean up the, the yard work. I'll have to paint the, the outside of the home. So in total, I'll probably have about 2000 3000 into the outside. Now, the inside, <clears throat> there's two different ways that you can go about this. Either you can sell as is. So sometimes I'll just take the furniture out, sell the mobile homes as is. Right now in 55 parks, your best bang for buck is to do a light cosmetic flip. Now, cosmetically, what I've seen so far, uh, we're gonna have to get all this furniture out. Obviously, the, the carpet is gonna have to get replaced. Now, what I like to do personally is I like to replace the flooring throughout the entire home because uh, we're here in the Southwest, it's very dusty, so a lot of families, they don't like carpet. So, best bang for buck for me is I'll take out the flooring throughout the entire place. So, we'll do that. Um, then I check to see if the home has appliances. This one has appliances. It's not a deal breaker when you're selling a mobile home. A lot of families, they have their own appliances. So <clears throat> it's more or less just a, a perk. Um, once I have the, the carpet out, um, all the flooring out, <coughs> sorry, I got a cough. Uh, that's when we're going to paint the home. So we'll paint the, the outside, the inside. To paint a double wide mobile home, you're looking at about 2000 uh, 2,500, somewhere in there, uh, depending on how many rooms, depending on the size. I'd say this one's going to be about 2,500 to, to 3,000 of paint. Um, what we do is we'll paint the ceiling uh, white, white, and then we do like sort of an off-white for the walls. And then right now we're using a oak wood. It's a laminate. Um, so that's what we're doing throughout most of these mobile homes. Let's check out these rooms over here. Okay, so once we have our cosmetic rehab done, um, we'll check all the appliances, we'll make sure the, the AC works, we'll make sure the water heater, all that stuff works. Looks like we have to remove all this stuff right here. Check the bathrooms really quick. So I bought this home, I was actually out of town. My sales agent went and checked it out. Uh, he said the home's in great shape. I'm seeing it for the first time right now. Okay, so once we have the paint done, we'll install the flooring, and that's when we start actually marketing the home online. So we don't like to walk people through these homes until uh, the rehab's done. And that way, you know, um, we can say here, this is what you're actually buying versus this is what it's going to be. Um, for us, it seems to work better. Man, this bathroom's actually pretty nice. Nice glass doors. So it looks like clean up. I mean, this is just dust up there. <clears throat> So as far as marketing, we post our homes on Facebook, Craigslist, offer up. We'll put signs out front. We're pretty aggressive with our marketing. Um, we like to communicate with the park managers because usually the park managers will give pretty good referrals as well. 
once we start walking people through that's when you actually have to get them through the park approval process now the park approval process depending on the park sometimes it'll take 24 hours sometimes it takes 48 hours sometimes it'll take a week so once we have someone going through the park approval pro process that's when we'll take a deposit now in arizona if the sales price is over fifty thousand dollars you have to go through a title company if it's under fifty thousand you can just beat them at the dmv being a licensed dealer, we have to take deposits. If we take a deposit, we put that money in the trust account. Um, that is the law. That's the requirement. Once we have the deposit, the person's park approved, that's when we can coordinate the final closing. Um, we always coordinate with the park to make sure we are doing everything correctly. Sure, they approve the sale and whatnot. I've seen a lot of people get in trouble because they'll end up selling to someone who's not park approved. Technically, you are on the lease. You are liable. Uh, the park can come after you for selling your mobile home to someone that's not approved to live within the community. It's a big no-no. People get in a lot of trouble. That's when you get taken to court. I see it all the time. I actually saw it for this park as someone sold their mobile home to someone that wasn't approved. They tried to say it's not our issue anymore. Well, yeah, it is your issue. You're on the lease, dummy. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I was about to cuss and then I, I cut myself off. That's how we buy a mobile home, sell the mobile home, get it ready to sell. Right now, we're fixing a lot of stuff up just because it's the best bang for buck. Um, sometimes we sell as is. If it's a family park, uh, we tend to sell more as is. Uh, a lot of the families want better deals. They want cheaper options. Uh, 55 parks, people tend to like stuff a little more fixed up. Um, they don't want to do any of the repairs, any of that stuff. <coughs> so we tend to do more repairs. Uh, more cosmetic flips. We do full gut jobs, but I like to stay away from them. I like cosmetic homes, uh, stuff that we can just clean up really quick within two, three weeks, get it on the market and sell. So if you like my videos, please hit the like button, subscribe button. My name is Matt. I buy and sell mobile homes here in Phoenix, Arizona. If you want to work a deal together, reach out to me. If you want more mobile home investing information, reach out to me. As always, be good, be safe. Hope you have a good day.